scientifically proven ways to flirt. A psychologist at Webster University conducted a study and, and looked at the techniques of flirting and the data suggests that not only does flirting work, it's more effective than physical attractiveness, than looking good. Yeah, we're gonna break down the data, but first thoughts, five words or less. This is all kind of duh. Touch my face and die. Yeah, totally. These viewers are so hot. Does booping count? I feel like if I booped while flirting, like your erection would go down. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, though. So let's go through here. So first and foremost, it says, as, as for men and women, it says that flirting, smiling, and eye contact are indicators pretty much everywhere and works for both sexes, okay? Well, it depends, I'm sorry. Like if you're smiling eye contact and it's like, oh, like engaging and like puts you at peace, and you're like, oh, cute, so whatever. Mm -hmm. If someone's like, <laughs> eye contact staring and it's like hey, yeah. hey you're like what right. the f like you yeah. want to leave you know right. so it depends there is like a talent to flirting there's a technique and you gotta, you gotta be if subtle you, with it and you hope that it's reciprocated i hope that you can feel that that other person is jiving off what you're doing because yeah. otherwise it can be creepy um also it says uh what works better than anything else touching touching yes. this is what i had an issue with Oh, okay, because there's three things here. Let me break it down. Friendly is shoulder push, shoulder tap, or a handshake. That's friendly. Plausible deniability, meaning like you're in, I'm into you. Touch around the shoulder or waist or touch on the forearm. forearm. And then nuclear, meaning like, yo, I'm into it's you. On. Face. I never really had that happen. If a girl touched flirting. you on the face, what would you feel? If a girl even looks in my direction, I'm assuming she's into me. <laughs> That's my problem. <laughs> If not, she's a lesbian. What if she right. sat next to you at a bar and you guys are engaged in a conversation and you're not really sure if she's into you and then she starts touching your face? Would that be like hook, line, and sinker for Even you? Even I think when the cross legs, I think if the legs are crossed and it's like towards you, I consider that like more flirtatious than away. At least that's... So you read every wow. mother... I'm an expert. Yeah. This is what I do. This is my thing. Uh, why don't you like... I do not like when people touch my face. I don't why like don't when people you? touch my face. I think it's uh, E.P. Cray. And first of all, even if, if I know you, then I'm going to flat out punch you because I know you're not going to press charges and you should know better than yeah. to touch my face. And if I don't know you, then I'm probably going to wait till you leave the bar and then, you know, uh, drop you over a bridge. <laughs> I mean, I don't care if my friends touch my face or people I don't like know. People touching no, my face. I don't like people. No. But a stranger in a bar? Yeah. <laughs> That's so creepy. Yep. And yeah. then it says that behaviors perceived differently in different locations. The more formal the setting they found, the more obvious you need to get your signal across. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And then it also shows that flirting, which emphasizes physical attractiveness, has little effect when men do it. The flirting that is most effective for men involves uh, displays of social dominance, meaning they maximize their space. So that's what women find attractive. Like yeah. if we were watching you across the room and you're like maximizing your space, you're putting your arm around a chair, you're taking up a lot of room. And then they also give examples of you being playful with your buds. So like you like pushing your buddy. <laughs> The well, girl is like... He looks confident. Yeah. And women like a confidence. They like power. So it's like taking power of the room, going up to the bar. Hey, I got that. You yeah. know, that's and very... Like yeah, taking, dudes, charge, taking charge. Taking charge. Taking charge. I get like that. So do I you get do that. that? Is that yeah, what you do? I mean, people love, like women, and you know, it goes both ways, that love comedians because they take, they can control a room, even for a few moments, all the attention's on them. And that's a very attractive quality. I think there's a lot of truth to this in the sense that women are turned on by what we just said. Just a guy doing his thing in the corner, not trying to be overtly obnoxious. And then I guess a guy, like all you need is anything. Eye contact, touch, like. What do you, it takes the game out of it, probably. Like, it's a lot of pressure on the guy to approach the girl, to take the chance, to take the risk. And so if the girl is basically sending him signals like, hey, it's cool, I'm down, like, come on over, like, he's at peace and he feels comfortable, then, of course, he's going to love that. Do so you then ever he's not taking signals? Risk. There's ever... been a very few times that I, I've mis misread a signal. More times I've misread it, the uh, like, where somebody's been into me and I just, you know what I mean, didn't want to pull the, you know, pull the trigger. Oh, the pop trigger. The pop wow. trigger. Amir's Corner brought up a really interesting point that we read articles about how to flirt, what flirting is. Are we really aware of those techniques or does it just come natural when you're attracted to somebody? It comes natural when okay. you're attracted. I think people kind of know. I, I mean, although I do get... Ugh. But people are people scared of getting, so of getting rejected. People though, I feel. Like, you know? some guys right. are still really immature and, like, make fun of you. Like, oh, old, like I in third that. grade, only we're not in third grade yeah. anymore and because he likes you and you're like that's a that's no no so don't make fun cool. of her yeah. what I always attract and poor me 
I always attract the creepy starers. Like, I always get the guy from across the bar or whatever that stares at you for way too long. How do you long. handle That's it? That's what I'm saying. That's why sometimes it's eye like, contact is scary. It is, yeah. How do you handle it? Uh, I stop looking at them. I don't, I just ignore it. I pretend like they're not there. Really quickly, final thoughts. Have you ever been the guy inappropriately <laughs> staring? <laughs> and then also, have you ever had a girl inappropriately stare, stare at you? Or does that not even count with guys? Absolutely. Are they? No, it absolutely has happened. I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, I'm pretty good at like damage control. Okay. Where I know like what's kind of worth, worth going after. Um, and I plant the seeds and they grow. <laughs> okay, what did you guys think about the scientifically proven ways to flirt? Do you agree? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. And also make sure you guys check us out on Hulu. Just search Pop Trigger. We'll see you all next time.